Well, hello and welcome one and all to what is a very special day on the English football scene. It's the day Arsenal meet Manchester United, two giant institutions of the game that also happen to be amongst its most decorated. This is a fixture which has been globally recognised as one of the defining rivalries of recent years. Rivalry often personal between managers and players, and down to the fact that both have so excelled. Every game akin to gladiatorial combat and decorated with wonderful attacking football, crunching physicality. Faces have come and gone and rivalry has entered into a new era, but there is one and thing is that never changes, lineup. and that is the fact that neither of these Number sides five. can bear the idea of Number losing to the other, and that Number on its own, 19. a factor sufficient to Run. make this utterly unmissable. Number Old 20. Trafford rising to the occasion as you only can. Old Trafford can, some terrific scenes at the Stratford end. Casemiro. Well, it's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances, but you feel the rivalry. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them... There's nothing riding on this. And we're on the way. Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, this guy, Saka, I've been praising since day one. Um, someone who has a great versatility in his game, the right attitude, very clever in how he operates around the pitch. And I think he has the, the potential to excel in, in most attacking positions. But... When it comes down to it, I'd actually love to see him operate in a number 10 for a spell. I think he could thrive there. Mm, I think the opposition defence agreed too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. Anthony. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Couldn't quite squeeze that one through. Odegaard. Well, he is the type of character who rises to this sort of challenge, and he will be back for more. What a throw in. Fred. Now it's Bruno Fernandes. Anthony, lovely ball. Has a goal! Goal! Manchester United! Manchester United take the lead! Well, was he ever going to miss that? Of course he wasn't. Well, that defence is perplexed by the fact they've allowed him the space. Arsenal didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Trossard. Now he's taken off it, that's really well played. Diogo Dallo. 
Bruno Fernandes is in a really good position out wide. Fred sticks it away. A quite incredible spell. They are flying. And that was as close to certain as can be. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. They took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and After the damage was all done. Is number 17, Cringe. Manchester United grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Diogo Dallo. Played to Casemiro. Gets his pass away. Face to... It's Gabriel Jesus! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. That's clear cut, it's a free kick. And they're back on the ball again. Fred. Played out towards the right wing. Chance to break. Well intercepted, and it certainly needed to be. Now it's Gabriel Jesus. Over to the left. That's positional gold. The utilisation of space. And it's Jorginho. Partey. He's left his man. Shot a goal! And yes, it's there! Back to within one! Interesting! The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Yeah, and having the thrust to get there is one thing, having the composure the to score, score is another. Arsenal. After 33 minutes is... Number 19... Arsenal get themselves back into contention. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Trossar. Granit Xhaka. Here. Up to meet it! Harmlessly behind. Odegaard did so well to make use of the little space that was afforded to him. It wasn't easy, that. Looking for the runner. Malasia. That's been cut out, well played. So, what can they make of this? Now it's Saka. Gets away from his opponents. Saka, well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Fred puts his foot on the gas. Partey. 
Odegaard. Two added minutes has been indicated. And here's Rashford. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. No, well, the pickings certainly have been rich in this first half. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they and have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Manchester United head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. And he's forced to go back. Pass is coming off in quick succession here. He's in plenty of space here. Granit Xhaka, excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Casemiro, pressure already building up here. And here's Rashford. Jorginho. Granit Xhaka, oh, good spread. Well timed, excellent interception. Malasia. Partey does really well to win the ball there. Odegaard. To Granit Xhaka. Passing is crisp and sharp. Odegaard. Massive leap! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Malasia. And it's Varane. Maguire. The attendance for this match was 71,550. Diogo Dallo. And it's Casemiro. Now it's Gabriel Jesus. Diogo Dallo. Fred already, of course, on the score sheet. Oh, nice touch. Casemiro. Good spot, he's seen the run. Anthony. He's lost the ball there, great tackle. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Substitution on the field. Bruno Number Fernandes 49. is eyeing up his options in the middle. Coming on the field. So is who is the target now? Number He's nine. having a look at what's available. Defending of the desperate variety. That's the throw. Maguire. And that interception was most necessary. And it's played forward. Gabriel Jesus. Varane simply refused to be outdone there. That's what has to be done now. No question about it. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. You know, the interest value in this game might just take off from here. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. He's found a way through. Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. Anthony. Gabriel. Now Trossard. And it's Shaka. Oh, that's a nice ball. He's shifting through the gears here. 
Arsenal might just end up kicking themselves after that. If they're lucky enough to get another, it has to count. Now it's Anthony. Casemiro. Fred. Now it's Rashford. Martial. They may end up with some regret with this tactic, but you have to admire their commitment to goals. Oh, good read. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's burst through. Oh, that's well spotted. Arsenal really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. And that's been intercepted. Played out to the left flank. He is through here. I think we're about to see a frenetic finish. And uh, no half measures from here. had it nicked away from him oh, it looked promising but the final ball is just not quite right and that's that Manchester United win it by the odd goal almost nothing in it perhaps a draw would have felt fairer but that's the game and they have won it at the margin so there it is what struck you most about that Manchester United made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do these games are always tough you know it's it's not always about form it's not always about class or style it's about pride and they showed loads of that their attitude was spot on today well thanks to Jim alongside and me and as the fans make the their way home so must we good evening to you charity fund.